Sodium, one of the best performance mods for Minecraft, and we're going to show you exactly how to get it for Minecraft 1.19 in this video. As you can see, the performance increase you can get here is kind of insane from 77 FPS to over 300, and they do have some other different FPS settings down here and like comparisons that you can see of what this mod is actually capable of. Over 250% to over 500% increase for Sodium in Minecraft. Absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and get it installed. The first step is downloading it. You can find Sodium at the second link in the description down below. When you click that, it will take you here. And once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section. Under that, you can see Sodium Minecraft 1.19 there. Click on the orange download file to the right of it, and Sodium will begin downloading. While we're waiting on that, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we also our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So be sure to go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, if you want to start your very own Minecraft server. But once Sodium is downloaded, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome, or save it in the middle of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. But once you've got Sodium downloaded, we need to download one more thing, and that of course is the Fabric Mod Loader. You can find a link to the Fabric Mod Loader at the third link in the description down below. That will take you here where you want to scroll down to the Download Fabric button. Now this is our in-depth tutorial on getting fabric, and should you need additional help, that's where you can go. But if you don't, and we're going to go through the basics in this video, just click on the yellow download fabric button. On the fabric download page here, we want to click on this little download universal jar link. The reason for that is I like to make sure everybody has the correct version of Java kind of set up because it's going to make things so much easier for you later on. So because of that, we want to make sure we download the Java version and doing that is allowing download universal jar there. So click on that and in the bottom left, the fabric installer is going to download. Same thing as Sodium, you may need to keep or save the file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and let's move the fabric installer as well as Sodium to our desktop. To do this, click the little windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or if you're on Windows 11, the bottom center of your screen, click on that little windows icon, type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here. Click on that and then drag and drop fabric and Sodium from your downloads folder to your desktop, right like so. Now, first off, we need to start off with fabric. To do that, right click on fabric, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or my icons. They just look weird and I don't have Java and things aren't working. What do I do? Well, that's why you need to get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, including Sodium. And guess what? We have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to download and install Java 17. It goes through everything you need to know here to get it set up. In most cases, you should be able to open up Fabric after you've got Java, but just in case you can't, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work perfectly together, as you can see. Nevertheless, once you've got that up and running and you've got Java installed properly, we can right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the Fabric installer where we can make sure 1.19 is selected, which it is. Click Install. It's going to go through Download and boom, successfully installed Fabric Loader 1.19 click OK and close out of the Fabric Installer. We can also delete the Fabric Installer from our desktop. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher and once we've opened up the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go ahead and make sure we've got a Fabric Profile. Now we do, right away you can see we have a Fabric Profile here, but don't click Play even if you do. But if you don't have a Fabric Profile here, click on Installations at the top and make sure Modded is checked. You can see we uncheck that, Modded disappears. Check it again, there's Fabric Loader. If you've got this, awesome. But if you don't, what do you do? Well, click on New Installation and then you can so whatever you want, I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible Minecraft Survival 1.19 server. You should go check it out. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and select release fabric loader 1.19. Then we want to change our resolution, right like so. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so you can see once we get in the game. And then finally click create. And now we have this fabric loader profile. Now we have this one up here as well. It doesn't matter which one of these you do this with, but hover over one of the fabric profiles and click on the folder that appears here. That's going to open up our dot my Minecraft folder where we should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, I don't either. Just right click then and create a new folder and title this folder mods. M-O-D-S exactly like that, all lowercase. 
open up the mods folder and drag and drop sodium from your desktop into this newly created mods folder, right like so. Now we can close out of this mods folder and we can open up Fabric by going to either one of these profiles, just hover over it and click play. And then once you do that, you are gonna get a pop-up that says, hey, you're about to play mod in Minecraft. You know that already, so just go ahead and click play again. And now Minecraft 1.19 is gonna open up with sodium installed. It's that simple and that easy to get that much performance out of Minecraft. I wish I had done a before and after just to see what sodium would do on my system, which is really old graphics cards, but a pretty decent CPU. Here we are in game. We can click on options, video settings, and there they are all of Fabric's beautiful settings. Now, one thing is, uh, I think out of the box, it's pretty good, but you can do things like turn down your render distance all the way and get a lot better performance out of Fabric. However, I am curious. Let's go ahead and jump on in here to test this out. And by the way, I said out of Fabric, I meant out of Sodium excuse me. But once we're in game, I'm curious, what is my FPS? Normally I run probably about a hundred something vanilla Minecraft with like no Optifine or any other sort of impacts there. So if we hit F3, we are currently sitting at over 600, 400, 500 FPS. Absolutely insane. That is sodium coming to work. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week on Minecraft. We will see you in the next video.